Doki Doki. Ah, ah, ah. I'm back. Okay. So last time we had an incident with the four characters about something about cookies, and yes, I like cookies too. We also made a second poem, which we are going to read it to Yuri right now. Yes, Yuri. Ah, oh, Yuri. Let's go. Eh? I suddenly noticed that Yuri is reading a different book from the one we've been reading together. Oh, come on. Did we have a special something? Um, oh, man, come on. Re read the other book again. Sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt. Okay, me. I did mean to interrupt. Ah, uh, no. I was kind of just waiting for you. Ooh, really? <laughs> well, see. Ah, if that's the case. Why don't we go ahead and get started? Yes, I will read you my new poem. Poem. Poem? A poem. Yes, let's. Actually, I have a request. Do you mind if I make some tea first? Ooh, I like tea. Come on, give me some tea. Not at all. Yes, tea. Love tea. Thanks very much. Eh, you're welcome. If there's one thing that can make my reading time be any better is a nice cup of tea. I like a nice cup of tea too. Come on, give me some tea. Give me some tea, Ojo Sama! Not to mention for yourself as well. Yes, thank you. Yuri stands up and makes a way to the closet. I swear, everyone in their closet. I, I want to see what's inside the closet. I follow and watch as she retrieves a small water pitcher. What the hell is a small water pitcher? From the shelf, the kind with the filter inside. Okay, that's not helping me. Can you hold this for a second? Sure. Yuri hands me the water pitcher and also fetches an electric kettle. Ooh. I'm going to plug this in at the teacher's desk. Oh, oh okay. Yeah, oh, you think that's a good idea? Is she just gonna allow that? And then, and then we'll go get some water. Okay, sure. She walked past me and set the kettle down on the teacher's desk. I simply watched her movements. Okay, me. Stop being a weirdo. Just stare at something else. To my surprise, the way she moves really contrasts her speaking mannerism, which is very soft, shy, uh, very uh, Ojo-sama kind of style. Especially because of her long legs. <laughs> Okay, me. What's happening? Why am I looking at her legs? Yuri appears elegant and methodical. Ooh. Ooh. Okay, may I have the water pitcher? Thanks, I'll be right back. Ah, I might as well walk with you. Yes, you go. You go, me. Yeah, why not? Shall we go then? Yes. Yes, please. <laughs> Oh, come on, Monica. Oh, no, don't interrupt. Hmm, where are you two off to? Eh? Oh, that's me. Eh. <laughs> we are just... Yuri was going to make some tea, so... I don't know, I just want to follow. I suddenly realized how weird it sounds to explain this to Monica. Oh, God. <laughs> just explain it normally, man. You're me, and me are you, and you are me. We are, we are, we are us. We are just filling the water pitcher, yes. That's what we're doing, nothing weird. Ah, okay. Man, I forgot, <laughs> I forgot the voice that I gave him. Um, British, uh, 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 kind and smug. Sorry, I was just a bit curious. There we go. That's kind of a one-person job, isn't it? Well, yeah, it is, but I just want to walk with her. What's wrong with that? Monica, please mind your own business for once. Ooh, you tell her, girl! Or do you want to tell me there's something wrong with helping involve only PP in club activities? Uh, eh? Ooh. You tell her, girl! Yeah! My mouth gap Gapes? Gaps? Yes, my mouth, my mouth gaps. <gasps> I... I suppose there's nothing wrong with that. Hmm. 
Then let's go, only pee pee. <laughs> pee pee. Ah. Yuri quickly exit the room and I follow. Alright. Once in the hallway, she suddenly puts her forehead against the wall. Oh wow. I spoke without thinking. How could I say something like that? Oh. Yuri. Oh, that's okay. You tell her, go. You ain't t you ain't no one's bitch. Tell her, go. I just something about the way she said it. It makes me feel so irritated. What's wrong with me? I'm. There's nothing wrong. You tell her, go. Nah, Yuri. I think you did the right thing. Yeah, you did the right thing. I wasn't expecting it, but well, I was expecting it, but not me in the game. But yes, it's also not right for Monica to judge people like that. Yeah. Only PP. How come even when I do something bad, you're being nice to me? I mean, you actually did something bad. You just told them off. I love a woman who do that. Come on, show them off. Fuck them! <laughs> oh no! Okay, because nothing that you do is as bad as you make it seems in your head. Yeah, it's not as bad. It's not that bad. You know, not that bad. Not that bad. Nobody's perfect. We have emotions and we can't always hide them away. But you always amplify things in your head. Yes, why would you do that? Stop. Bad. Your mind turns a light rain shower into a hurricane. Whoa, that's very literal, literal, uh, literacy, literacy, literacy of me. Uh, no, no, wouldn't you hate me for something as terrible as that? No, hell no, come on, tell them off. Why would I hate you? Yeah, I can't hate someone for having emotions. Yes, what kind of friend would do that? Fr friend you say uh um yuri lifted her head up only pp pee -pee. i really like being friends with you <laughs> nervous laughs <laughs> thanks yuri i like being friends with you too oh oh god what am i saying ah introvert I feel kind of awkward saying something like that. Yes, introvert energy. But I'm doing my best to help Yuri feel better. Aww. Anyway. Ah, uh, yeah. Shall we go? Yes, let's go. Yuri and I walk to the nearest water fountain. Once we fill up the water pitcher, we return to the classroom. Ooh. Only PP, do you like oolong tea? Oh, I love this woman. Come on, give me them oolong tea. Yes, give me them oolong tea. Very well. Yuri sets the temperature on the kettle to 200 degrees. Oh, Lord, that's gonna burn the hair off my tongue. Now, it's time to get the teapot. You really do this properly, don't you? Of course. I shouldn't do any less when I'm making tea for others. Even if I'm not an expert in tea or anything? Why am I talking about? <laughs> In that case, you'll only be even more impressed. Whoa, impress me, please. I would love to be enlightened by tea. You refreshes the teapot and begins measuring the tea leaves. To my surprise, she even starts humming a little to herself. <laughs> you must be in good mood now. Hell yeah, make that tea, woman. Is that so? I was letting it show. And you notice. I was doing a bit of thinking. And I decided that I would try expressing myself a bit more. It turns out it's not very hard for me to do. When it's you who's around anyway. Ah, okay. Uh, thanks. I mean, uh, you're welcome. Uh, uh, tea! See? That's great! Yes. Just don't push yourself too much. You're always worrying about me, only PP. It's very endearing. That's... Uh, Yuri wasn't kidding. 
I don't even know if I can keep up with this. <laughs> God, me. Come on, soldier. You can hold it in. You can hold it. I watched Yuri pour a cup of tea for each of us. Only PP, I have another request. Okay, uh, what is it? I have, I, uh, I have a poem and I was about to read it. So, uh, is this request uh, related to the poem thing? Uh, Do you mind if we sit on the floor today? Hell yes! This woman! I am sitting on the floor right now in my room in the comfort of my home i love putting my ass on the floor i hate chairs chairs are overrated floor gang Ugh. Uh, what's that it's a little bit easier on my back oh okay i i oh okay i get it the baggage that you have in uh uh the front yes i can read with my back against the wall rather than bending over at my desk Ah, sorry, I didn't realize. Come on, me. No worries. I just have back pain fairly regularly, so I do my best to manage it. Is that so? I wonder why that is. <laughs> it's most likely because my... Ah. My, my... Your posture, right? Yeah, it's gotta be them posture. Everyone needs to sit well. Don't just bend your back like me. I bend my back all the time. And I have awful postures. <laughs> Always hunch over like that while reading. Yes! I have terrible reading posture. So that's why we should sit on the floor. Hmm? Okay, fair enough. Okay. I'll go ahead and get the book. I retrieved the book from my bag. Ah, I have some chocolate as well. Oh my god, me! I am on fire today. I have chocolate and everything. It's a bag of small chocolate candies that I kept hidden from Sayori Candy Radar. <laughs> oh, Sayori. I swear, that girl gets my candy all the time. I take it since it'll go well with the tea. Yes. You and I then sit against the wall, teacup at our sides. As if in sync, we assume the same reading position as last time, each holding one half of the book. Except this time, our bodies are even closer to each other. Ooh, wow, spicy scene coming up. Spicy scene? Ah, okay. I can't see too well. Oh, 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 shit! Ah! Ah! Alert! She can't see! You really slide closer until our shoulders are touching. Oh. How am I supposed to focus on reading like this? <laughs> no, come on, man. Come on, myself. Be strong. Be strong for us. Yuri was always kind of cute. But... But? There's a but? When she's being less uh, apprehensive, it's almost more than I can handle. Uh. Your teacup. Yuri hands me my teacup. Holding it with my hand that's not holding the book, I end up in a position that makes it even harder to focus. <laughs> what kind of position is this? Come on, show me, game. Because now I need to worry about making sure I don't accidentally touch her chat. Okay. There's an easy solution. Just not lean on the wall with your back and lean on the side with your back. That's better. Meanwhile, Yuri hasn't noticed a single thing. I, I'm... I'm not so sure about that. She might notice a little bit. She wears her intense reading expression, and I can only presume the world around her has faded away. Oh god, okay. Uh, maybe I'm wrong. <laughs> I use all of my willpower <laughs> to focus on reading. <laughs> Hell yeah, use that willpower. After a few minutes, I finally managed to relax a little bit. I put a teacup between my legs and fumble with a chocolate wrapper. Ooh. Ah, sorry. I briefly let go of the book to finish opening the wrapper. You can have as much as you want. Ah, that's... That's okay. I won't take any. Huh? Oh, you sure? Come on, it's chocolate. You have to eat the chocolate and the tea. It's bliss. Well, if I touch it, 
then it might get smudged on the pages. Come on, you can just clean it. Ah, you're right. Oh, I didn't even think about that. My bad. Oops. Oopsie. No need to apologize. I'll hold the book, okay? Are you sure? Of course. Yes! Yes, 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 yes! A scene! Yuri opens the book with both hands. She holds it so that I don't have any harder of the time reading from it. But as a result, her left arm is practically resting on the top of my leg. I must have some pretty gigantic fucking thighs for her to put her arms on it. Well, in that case, Yuri is already fo uh, totally focused on reading again. I take a chocolate candy and pop it into my mouth. Nom 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 chocolate. Nom 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 chocolate. And I take another chocolate. Nom 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 nom. And I hold it up to Yuri. Oh, I'm oh I'm gonna, oh. Okay, I'm gonna hand feed her. She doesn't even look away from the book. She simply passes her lips, as if the situation was completely natural. Okay, so I'm hand hand feeding her chocolate, and she's not bothered. Oh, sure. But that means I can't stop here. <laughs> oh god. I apprehensively place the chocolate in her mouth. Oh, there's a chocolate in her mouth! <laughs> Just like that, Yuri closes her lips over it. Eh? Yuri expression suddenly breaks. Yes, now you notice. Bro, I'm feeding you hand chocolate. This is the god hand chocolate. You get, when you eat it, you're gonna taste something awesome. Did... Did I just... She really looks at me like she needs to confirm what just happened. <laughs> um, I'm pretty sure you know what's happened. Uh, um, only PP. Oh, sorry. I I I mean to. I guess I shouldn't have done that. Ah, uh, that's well. You were just helping. That's something that friends do, right? I mean, <laughs> is it? I mean, I would, I would never let my friend hand feed me chocolate. That's weird. I'm a big boy. I eat my own chocolate. I use my own hands and I lick my own hands. Not really in this kind of context, but pfft, sure. Yeah, that's all worse. Yeah. Then you don't need to stop or anything. I, I see, okay. The situation has gotten really intense. Yuri tried to return to the book, but I can tell just by her expression that even she can't focus now. Oh no, what have I done? My heart is pounding. Oh, I nervously take another chocolate between my fingers. But this time, Yuri's eyes meet mine. Oh, how did it even come to this? Yuri doesn't avert her gaze. I notice her chest rising and falling to the rhythm of her breath. Of her, of her breath. I raise my arm. Ah, uh, like before, Yuri parts her lips, but it's different this time. I take a chocolate and place it in her mouth. I feel her hot breath on my fingers. Oh, okay, everyone. What? Oh, damn it, Monica! Why? Stop interrupting! Ah! Uh. Yuri joins back. <laughs> oh no! It's time to share poems. Only PP, you can help Yuri put away the tea stuff, right? Yeah, of course. Yeah, of course. You little bitch. Okay, thanks. The spell is abruptly broken. Damn it, Monica! We had a special something together! Oh. I'll, I'll... I'll take care of the cups. Yeah, you do that. Yuri picks up a teacup from the floor. I pick up the bag of chocolates. In the end, we hastily clean up without so much as a word between us. Oh god. <laughs> so awkward. I get the feeling this is something neither of us... Uh, we have the courage to bring up. Okay! Uh, who do I want to show my poem first? Come on, does the game need to ask me about that? Yuri. No one else. Yo, Ray. Just Yo, Ray. Let's see what you've written for today. Huh? Huh? What's that, what, what's that expression? Oh, Yuri stares at a poem 
with a surprised expression on her face. Oh, come on, tell me, do you like it? Only pee pee. This one might even be better than yesterday's. How did you even pick up on this so quickly? Just yesterday, I was telling you the kind of techniques worth practicing. I don't know, maybe I'm actually pretty good. Oh, I'm proud of myself. Maybe that's why you did a good job explaining. I really wanted to try to give it more imagery. Yuri visibly swallows. Even her hands appear sweaty. Ooh, sweaty hands. I'm not used to this. Used to what? I, I don't know. It's fine, take your time. Yuri breathes and collects her thoughts. I know that Yuri likes to think before she speaks, so I offer that patience to her. Yeah, just being appreciated like this, I guess. I mean, that's normal. It probably sounds really stupid, but seeing someone motivated by my writing, it just makes me... Oh, I know what that feels. Oh, it makes you... It makes you squeeze your little heart. Really happy. Are you saying you never shared your writing before? Oh. Uh? Yuri nods. Oh, God. Really? I don't believe it. No way. Yeah, no way. Don't nod. You liar. Don't nod. I really only write for myself. And besides... People would just laugh at me. Well, fuck those people, alright? If they laugh, they're lost. Do you really think that? Yeah, do you really think that? Again, you read nuts. Ugh. Even your close friends? Yeah, if your close friend laughs at your poem, come on. Stop. Your, your close friends are assholes. Stop being assholes. He really doesn't respond to that. I wonder why. <laughs> oh, God. Anyway, do you want to share the poem you wrote today? Yeah, I do, if it's with you. Oh, oh, wow. Okay. Oh my god, it's so long. Uh... Okay, so the raccoon. It happened in the dead of night while I was slicing bread for a guilty snack. What is a guilty snack? My attention was caught by a scuttering of a raccoon outside my window. That was, I believe, the first time I noticed my strange tendency as an unordinary human. Whoa! I gave the raccoon a piece of bread, a subconscious well aware of consequences. Well aware that a raccoon that is fed uh, will always come back for more. The enticing beauty of cutting knife was the symptom. The bread, my hungry curiosity. The raccoon, an urge. The moon increments its phase and reflects that much more light off of my cutting knife. The very same light that glisters in the light in the eyes of my raccoon friend. Uh, I sliced the bread, fresh and soft. The raccoon became excited. Or perhaps I'm merely projecting my emotion onto the nearly satisfied animal. The raccoon has taken uh, to following me. So you could say that we have gotten quite used to each other. The raccoon becomes hungry more and more frequently, so my bread is always handy. Every time I brandish my cutting knife, the raccoon shows me its excitement. A rush of blood. Classic Pavlovian? Classic Pavlovian conditioning. I slice the bread and I feed myself again. Okay, I don't really get it. Uh, something about raccoon, which is, uh, raccoon. So the raccoon, the, 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 the raccoon is, it's just my hunger. And it's just me feeding myself some more bread. I guess that I guess, I guess that's what it means. Um, I was a little more daring with this one than yesterday's. I can see that it's longer than yesterday. And good lord, I don't, oh lord, I don't think I I want to read more. <laughs> it's so confusing. It's a lot more metaphorical. I don't know if it's my fault, but I can't begin to imagine what this poem is about. <laughs> That's right. It's a bit closer to my preferred writing style. Using the poem as canvas to express vivid imagery and convey emotion through them. Oh god, she's, she's in her Yuri mode right now. Yeah, if I take it at face value, then I can't really figure it out what it's supposed to mean. Well, I think it's something that different people can relate to you in their own ways. 
I wanted to express the way it feels for me to indulge in my more unusual hobbies. It's those sort of things I'm, sh I'm usually forced to keep to myself. So I sometimes enjoy writing about them. Why do you keep them to yourself? But because they are embarrassing. Oh, come on. And people will make fun of me. Don't you have anything like that, only baby? A fear of, of someone making fun of you. I remember there was a time that the teacher called me up and I tried to be hilarious to the teacher and the whole class laughed. I wouldn't say that it was awful, but they laughed out of laughter, not not laughing at me, so... I don't know. Well, oh well. Yeah, I guess I do. Maybe, I guess I do. I feel like everyone has a little something like that. The best we could do is respect each other and our individualities. Even if it's difficult sometimes, and some things makes us uncomfortable. After all, if I had learned to embrace my own weirdness, I would probably hate myself. Yeah, embrace your own weirdness. Don't hate yourself. Come on. I, I might be ranting a little bit now. Eh, that's okay. I like to rant. But I'm glad that you're a good listener. I'm all ears. My gigantic big ass ears are all for listening. You're good at a lot of things. Writing, listening. There really aren't many people like you, only PP. Um, I'm pretty sure there's a lot, but thanks. Uh, you're welcome. That That's exaggerating a little bit. It's just how I feel. I never thought I would feel so comfortable sharing my writing. But now, I almost feel like I look forward to it. It's just a really nice feeling. And you're too thanks for that. Aw, aw, shucks, all you. Aw, it's nothing really, aw. <laughs> Yuri smiles sincerely at me, yes. More Yuri points. Just a moment, her timidness seems to disappear. Okay, next person I want to show. You know what, since Monica always interrupt me like an ass, as she is, I'm just gonna show it to her so she doesn't bother me anymore. Hi again, only PP. How's the writing going? Uh, alright, I guess. I mean, Yuri seems to like it. Uh, yeah, oh uh, yeah. I'll take that. As long as it's not going bad. I'm happy that you're applying yourself. Maybe soon, you'll come up with a masterpiece. Ah! I wouldn't count on that. You never know. Want to share what you wrote for today? Sure. Here you go. I give my poem to Monica. Alright. This one's good. I feel like you're not only getting more comfortable with your style. But the imagery is better than the last one I read. Just wondering, but have you been finding inspiration in Yuri writing style? Yes, and it's none of your business, boy. I mean, it's none of your business, bitch. Mm. I guess so. What you mean? Yo, what you mean? You guess so, me? Come on, it's totally it. <laughs> I can't deny that she's talented. Yeah, totally. I think her poems are the most romantic. That's the best way to describe it. She's like a totally different person when she picks up a pen. Yeah, I noticed that too. Or when she's talking about literature, it's like a light turns on inside her. Mm-hmm. Sadly, it's hard to get much personal conversation out of her. Trust me, I've tried. No shit, you've tried. Maybe you should try a different approach. Who knows what goes on in that head of hers? I hope you don't mean it in a bad way. Don't talk shit about Yuri, you, you little hoe. No, of course not. I just meant that I wish she didn't keep so much to herself. But still, defending her like that, you must be pretty into her. Oh, uh, oh, yeah, oh, oh, uh, I, oh. I have no idea what you're talking about. You completely misunderstood. 
Ha ha ha. Calm down. I'm just kidding. Besides, I'm pretty sure she's already got a boyfriend. No! Ah! How dare you? How dare you say that? Wait, really? Yeah, a fictional one. Uh, yeah, fuck you. <laughs> How could you do this? How could you do this to me? My little heart. Monica kind of whispered that last part to me. Oh, God. It's just a hunch, but... Well, that's not really anything wrong with that. Uh, well, I know. I was just saying... Well, you shouldn't say that. Come on. But anyway, you want to read my poem now? Uh, I'm not really interested, but sure, why not? I like the way this one turns out. I, so I hope you do too. Alright, let's take a look. Oh my god. Oh, it's not as long as I thought. Okay. Save me. Save me! <laughs> that song. The colors, they won't stop. Bright, beautiful colors. Flashing, expanding, piercing. Red, green, blue. An endless cacophony. Ca what the fuck? Ca cacophony? Cacao? Caco? Ca I have no idea how to read that word. Of meaningless noise. The noise, it won't stop. Violent, grating waveforms. Speaking, screeching, piercing. Shine. Co co Whoa, what the fuck? Co shine? Tangents. Like playing a chalkboard on a turntable. Like playing a vinyl on a piece of crust. An endless poem of meaningless. Load me? Oh. What the fuck is with this weird shit? Mm. It's even more abstract than your last one, huh? <laughs> I guess it's just the way I write. I'm sorry if you don't like it. No, I never said that. It's just a kind of thing I've never really seen before, I guess. I kind of like playing with my space on the paper. Choosing where and how to space your words can totally change the mood of the poem. Okay, that's totally true. It's almost like magic, magic, ha ah. The way I wrote the line really short makes it feel like they are trying to speak over the noise. I see, ha. Huh. It's still hard for me to tell what it's about, though. <laughs> Sometimes asking what a poem is about isn't the right question. A poem can be as abstract as a physical expression of a feeling, or a conversation with a reader. So putting it that way, every poem is about something. Anyway, here's Monica's writing tip of the day. Oh god, one of her tips. I don't even... I like her tips. Sometimes you'll find yourself facing a difficult decision. When that happens, don't forget to save your game. Okay, whoa. What kind of tip is that? Uh, okay, that makes me scared as hell, so I'm gonna save now. Just in case. That scared the shit out of me, okay. You never know when you might change your mind. Yeah, that's kind of sus. Or when something unexpected ha may happen. Wait, is this tip even about writing? What am I even talking about? Yeah, what are you even talking about? That's creepy. Ah, ha, ha, ha. That's my advice for today. Ugh. Thanks for listening. Ugh. Okay. Oh, oh, God. She's so scary. She's so weird. Okay. I want to save my best friend for last because my best friend is always last. <laughs> Natsuki first. Hmm. Huh. Well, it's not really any worse than your last one. But I can't really say it's any better either. Phew. I mean, it's not your forte, but you still don't don't like it? You still don't not like it. There you go. Huh? Phew what? Ah, well, anything that isn't a train red, I'll take a, I take it as a win. Yeah, take it as a win, my my dude. And I get the feeling you're probably the most critical. Hey, what makes you... Wait, maybe that was a compliment? Haha. <laughs> Glad to see someone recognize my experience. 
Well then, keep practicing. Maybe you'll be as good as me someday. Sure, maybe. That's uh something tells me Asuka completely misses the points. <laughs> Come to think of it, this kind of reminds me of Sayori's poem from yesterday. Did it now? What was her poem about yesterday? Ah, I can't remember. Eh? You think so? Yeah, well, if I guess you've been friends with her for so long, you might be on a safe wavelength. Wavelength? Wavelength. But you never really struck me as her type. Sayori has a type all of a sudden? Yeah, what is her type even? Well, I don't know, but honestly, how can someone so, uh, fluffy spend so much time with someone like you? It's like she's just dragging around a dead weight. Oh, come on. Ah, uh, that was a little unnecessary. But think of it this way. If it weren't for me, she would probably just fly away like letting go of a balloon. Oh, God. <laughs> I'm hilarious. I love it. You could say we each take care of each other in our own way. Whatever it is, I don't get it. Oh yeah, I guess I'm supposed to show you my poem. Here. Oh shit! This is a long one. Amy likes spiders. Ooh, spiders. I don't have an arachophobia. Is that is that a word you use? Arachophobia? Uh, yeah, I don't have that. I'm not afraid of spiders, but I do think they're creepy as hell. Ugh. You know what I heard about Amy? Amy likes spiders. Icky, wriggly, hairy, ugly spiders. That's why I'm not friends with her. Amy has a cute singing voice. I heard her singing my favorite love song. Every time she sang chorus, my heart would pound to the rhythm of the word. But she likes spiders. That's why I'm not friends with her. What the fuck? So, she has a spider, so you don't want to be friends with her because she has a spider. What? what, what uh huh? I'm... Uh huh? I'm confused. One time, I hurt my leg real bad. Amy helped me up and took me to the nurse. I try not to, I try not to let her touch me. She likes spiders. So her hands are probably gross. That's why I'm not friends with her. Amy has a lot of friends. I always see her talking to people. She probably talks about spiders. What if her friends start to like spiders too? That's why I'm not friends with her. It doesn't matter if she has other hobbies. It doesn't matter if she keeps it private. It doesn't matter if it if it doesn't hurt anyone. It's gross. She grows. The world is better off without lo spider lovers. And I'm gonna tell everyone. Okay, this gives me a really big awful feeling that I shouldn't uh, associate with her. But I'll give her the benefit of the doubt. Not bad, right? It's quite a bit longer than yesterday. A lot longer than yesterday. Yesterday was way too short. I was just warming up. I hope you didn't think that was the best I could do. No, of course not. I'm pretty sure you could do better than, uh, that. Anyway, the message is pretty straightforward in this poem. Oh no, I thought there was some kind of... Some kind of secret meaning behind it. She actually is that type of person. Oh no. I don't want to be mean. I don't like her. <laughs> I doubt I have to explain it. Sometimes you can explain complicated issues with much simpler analogies. And it helps people realize how stupid they are being. Oh god. Like, anyone who agreed that the subject of this poem is an ignorant jerk. Oh, okay. Oh, maybe I am wrong. Maybe she is a good girl. Do you know people like that? Of course. It's about how everyone thinks my... Ah, that doesn't matter. It can't be about anything. I don't want it to be easy to relate to. Aaron has some kind of weird hobby or a guilty pleasure. Sometimes that you're afraid people find out. They make fun of you and think less of you. But that just makes people stupid. Who cares what someone likes? As long as they're not hurting anyone. And it makes them happy. Yes, totally. Do what you want. Do what you like. Don't be gross. Just do what you want. Do what you like. It's your thing. People have to mind their own business. You do you. I always say that. You do you. 
I think people really need to learn to respect others for liking weird things. Oh, that's funny. Yuri wrote about something similar today. Huh? Did you say Yuri? Yeah. She said her poem was about an unusual hobby as well. I didn't really get it, but she said something similar to you. That people shouldn't make each other feel insecure about those things. Yes, that's a good message. R really? Well, I mean, Yuri is pretty weird. So I wouldn't doubt that she has some weird hobbies. Not that there's anything wrong with that. Hmm. It's not like I would judge her or anything. Natsuki has trouble finding her words. I, I guess I should not try to be mean to her. Good girl. Yes, I'm starting to like her. If she feels, if she feels insecure about her weird behaviors and stuff, I mean, I always hate people who make me feel insecure. And you really make me feel insecure yesterday. But the way you put it, it sounds like she learned her lesson. Well, I would say so. Even if her writing styles. Uh, it's very, it's really different. I'm sure she appreciate the message in your poem. It's what I do best after all. I don't like writing unless there's a good message to take away from it. Like conveying emotion is important. That's exactly what Yuri said. But I want to make people think, not just feel. Remember that. I'm gonna write a good one for tomorrow too, so look forward to it. Definitely. Okay, last one. My best friend, Sayori. Oh! Oh god. Voicing Sayori is gonna kill me. I like this one, Ali PP. It had some nice feeling in it. Oh, I'm glad. Does that mean it's better than yesterday? <laughs> mm, let me think. I don't know. I guess I like both of them. Hey, hey, hey. That's not very helpful, you know. Well, I'm not really good at thinking out if poems are good or bad. But that's why I just go by my heart. It makes me feel things that it must be a good poem. I'm not sure that's exactly how it works, but sure. Then again, I guess conveying feelings is a pretty important part of this whole thing. Yeah, maybe. Honestly, I don't even know what kind of writing you like in the first place. <laughs> oh god. What kind of best friend am I if I don't know her favorite writing style? Yeah. Me neither. <laughs> god. Okay, maybe I really am her best friend. <laughs> uh, why don't you at least try giving it some thought? Ah, uh, You want to write something for me? That's so sweet. What? Okay. Yeah, right. <laughs> but you're always thinking about other people. You need to think about yourself once in a while. If you don't, you might end up getting hurt at some point. Yeah. It's not wrong to be selfish. Think about yourself a little bit more. Eh? Well, I don't really know what you mean, but I'll just keep I'll try to keep it in mind. Well, uh, well, whatever. Anyway, let's see. Hmm. I guess I like happy poems. Wait, sometimes I like sad poems too. Sometimes a little bit of both. There's a word for that, right? What's the word I'm looking for? <laughs> yeah, I can tell. She's definitely my best friend. I am totally like this. My god. I want to find a word I don't re fucking remember. And I try to say, what's the word I'm looking for? Shit. <laughs> Bittersweet! <laughs> oh, it's actually the word bittersweet. Oh, okay. Yeah! <laughs> she just answered. I like things that are happy and things that are sad. Happy and sad. So bittersweet. Okay, bittersweet. I can see you liking something sad, Sayori. <laughs> well, I like happy the most. But sometimes when you have a little rain crowd in your head, a sad poem can give the rain cloud a little hug. Oh, that's cute. And make a nice happy rainbow. Sorry, that's... Yeah, that's unexpectedly poetic. Dang, you go, friend. Eh? Is it? 
Maybe I'm getting better at expressing my feeling after all. Thank you, Pippi. Let's go write that down then. You can read my poem now, okay? Oh, shit! Why is it so long? Bottles. I pop off my scalp like the lid of Cookie John. It's a secret place where I keep all my dreams. Little balls of sunshine all rubbing together in a bundle of kittens. I reach inside with my thumb and forefinger and pluck one out. It's warm and tingly, but there's no time to waste. I put it in a bottle to keep it safe. And I put the bottle on the shelf with all the other bottles. Happy thoughts, happy thoughts, happy thoughts in the bottle. All in a row. My collection makes me a lot of friends. Each bottle a starlight to make amends. Sometimes my friend feel a certain way. Down comes a bottle to save the day. Oh, that's pretty good. It rhymes. That's what I like about poems. It freaking rhymes. Night after night, more dreams. Friends after friends, more bottles. Deeper and deeper, my finger goes. Oh, <laughs> I shouldn't have a laugh at that. Uh, like exploring a dark cave, discovering the secrets hiding in the nooks and crannies, digging and digging, scraping and scraping. I blow dust off my bottle caps. It doesn't feel like time elapsed. My empty shells could use some more. My friends look through my locked front door. Damn! My f Sayori, you're really good at this. Finally, all done. I open up and in come my friends. Oh. In they come in such a hurry. Do they want my bottles that much? I frantically pull them from the shelf. One after the other, holding them out to each and every friend, each and every bottle. But every time I let one go, it shatters against the tile between my feet. Happy thoughts, happy thoughts, happy thoughts in shots all over the floor. Ah, okay, that took a really uh, sad turn. They were supposed to be for my friends, my friends who aren't smiling. They're all shouting, pleading something, but all I hear is. Echo, 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 echo. Inside my head. Damn, Sayori, this is really good. It's awesome. Literature's awesome, bruh. Holy crap. <laughs> That's exactly my expression. Sayori, did you really write this? Of course I did. Didn't I tell you yesterday I was going to write the best poem ever? Yeah, but good lord, Jesus, hell Christ, this is a really good one. I mean, I didn't expect something like this coming from you. <laughs> oh, come on, that's so demeaning. Come on, me. Honestly, I would definitely say that, so yeah, I, I don't care. Right. Monica taught me a whole lot, and I've been really in touch with my feelings recently. I see that. It's almost kind of creepy. <laughs> Creepy? Well, not exactly. Maybe because I'm used to you being cheerful. Well, never mind. You know, I'm thinking too hard about it. The point is, it came out good. Yeah, it's pretty good. I'm so proud of you, Sayori. Ah, thanks. I feel like I feel like I was meant to express myself this way. It even helps me understand my own feelings a little bit better. Writing is like magic, magic. Oh, you got pretty passionate about this, huh? I hope you keep it up. Good job, great job, Sayori. That's my best friend. Yeah, writing's the best. I'm gonna keep writing until I die. Okay. Oh, okay. Uh, let's just skip that. Uh huh. Don't get ahead of yourself, okay? Sayori always had a habit of getting obsessed with something before dropping it no more than a week later oh god <laughs> so relatable I wonder if this is one of those times but seeing the passion in her eyes makes it hard for me to be pessimistic okay everyone we're all done reading each other poems right I have something extra planned today so if everyone could come sit at the front of the room is this about the festival? Well, sort of. Ugh. Do we really have to do something for the festival? 
It's not like we can put together anything good in a few days. Well, we'll just end up embarrassing ourselves instead of getting in any new members. That's a concern of mine as well. I don't really do well with last minute preparations. Don't worry so much. We're going to keep it simple, okay? We won't need much more than a few decorations. Sayori has been working on posters and I've designed some pamphlet we can give out during the, the event. Okay, that's great now. But that doesn't tell us what we're actually going to do for the event. Ah, sorry, I thought you heard about it already. We're going to be performing. Performing? Uh, um, Monica? Yeah, we're going to be having a poetry performance. Oh. I hate crowds. I hate stage. Why would you do this, Monica? Each of us are going to choose a poem to recite during the event. But the cool part is, we're also going to let anyone else come up and recite poems too. Sorry, putting it on a poster in case anyone wants to prepare ahead of time. <laughs> Sayori, who's been coloring a poster, pull it up for us to see. Are you kidding me, Monica? You didn't, you didn't already start putting this poster up, did you? Uh, well, I did. Do you really think it's that bad of an idea? Well, no. It's not a bad idea. But I didn't sign up for this, you know? There's no way I'm going to be performing in front of a group of people like that. Uh, I agree with Natsuki. I could never in my life do something like that. Imagining it, Yuri shakes her head in fear. Oh god. <laughs> I'm in fear too, you know. Guys! No, Sayori. I understand where they are coming from. Remember? That Natsuki and Yuri have never shared their poems with anyone until a couple of days ago. It's a lot to ask for them to recite their poem out loud to a whole room of people. I guess I kind of overlooked that. So I'm sorry. Hm. But I still think you should give it our best. We are the only ones responsible for the fate of this club. If we start an event and each put on a good performance, then it will inspire others to do the same. And the more people we perform, the better we will be able to show everyone what literature is all about. Yeah! It's about expressing your feelings! Being intimate with yourself! Oh, okay. Mm. Being intimate with myself. <laughs> Finding new horizons and having fun! That's right! And it's those reasons that we are all in this club today. Don't you want to share that with others? To inspire them to find the same feeling that brought you here in the first place? I know you do. I know we all do. And it all takes is standing in front of a room for two minutes and reciting a poem, then I know you can do it. Hmm. Natsuki and Yuri remain silent. Oh god. Sayori looks worried. I guess that leaves me no choice. Ugh. I agree! I don't think it's too much to ask. I think that Sayori and Monica have been really trying hard to get new members. The least we can do is help them out a little bit. Well, maybe, but... It looks like Natsuki doesn't have any arguments left. Oh. Okay, fine. I guess I'll just have to get it over with. Alright! Phew. Thanks, Natsuki. What about you, Yuri? Hmm. Yuri dejectedly glanced around at everyone else's expectant faces. Uh, I guess I don't really have a choice. Ha ha ha! That's everyone! You're the best, Yuri! This club is seriously going to be the death of me. <laughs> oh, Yuri, you'll be fine. Your poems are great. Oh, gosh. You'll be fine, Yuri. But anyway, let's move on to the main event. I want each of you to choose a poem of yours. We're going to practice reciting them in front of each other. No, 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 no way! 
M Monica, this is too sudden. Well, if you can't recite your poems in front of the club, how do you expect to do it in front of strangers? Oh no. Don't worry. I'll start off to help everyone feel a little more comfortable. Can I go next? Haha, <laughs> of course. Now, let's see. Monica flips through her notebook to the specific poem she has in mind for herself, okay? And she, uh, she then stands behind the podium. The title of the poem is The Way They Fly. Ahem. Monica begins reciting her poem. Her clear, confident voice fills the room. More than that, her infection is pristine. She knows exactly uh, how to apply emotion behind each line she recites, bringing the words to life. Is this something she's done before, or is she simply a natural? I glance around me. Everyone has their eyes on Monica. Sari looks amazed. Yuri has an intense expression on her face that I don't understand. Oh. <laughs> but finally, Monica finishes the recitations. The four of us applaud. Monica takes a breath and smile. That was so good, Monica! <laughs> Thank you very much. I was just hoping to set a good example. Are you ready to go next, Sayuri? Uh, I'll go next. What? Yuri fired up all of a sudden? Yuri crutches a sheet of paper between her hands and stands up. Keeping her head down, she walks quickly over to the podium. This poem is called... Yuri anxiously glared at each of her, at each of us. You can do it, Yuri! Uh, uh, it's, uh, it's called After Image of a Crimson Eye. Yuri's voice shake as she starts reading a poem. Just a moment ago, she practically refused to do, to do this. Oh, good lord. Why is she suddenly putting in so much effort? As Yuri gets past the first couple of lines, her voice changes. It's almost like what happens when Yuri gets absorbed into her book. Her quivering words transform into sharp syllables of a fierce and confident woman. Ooh. <laughs> the poem is full of twists and turns in the structures that and you can and what the fuck is this word? Enunciates with perfect timing. Enunciate! Oh, okay. This must be a rare glimpse into the whirling fire Yuri keeps concealed inside of her. Suddenly, she finished. Everyone is stunned. Yuri snapped back into reality and glanced around as if she be watered even by herself. Uh, I. It's up to me to save the situation. I don't know if I start applauding. Everyone joins me afterward and we give Yuri the recognition she deserves. Hell yeah! Let's go, Yuri! Woo! It's not that we didn't want to applaud for her, but we were caught so off guard that we must have forgotten. As we applaud, Yuri holds the poem to her chest and rushes back to her seat. <laughs> Yuri, that was really good. Thank you for sharing. Looks like Yuri is down for the count. Okay! I guess I'm next then. Sayori hops out of her chair and cheerfully walks to the podium. This one's called My Meadow. Ah. <laughs> what the fuck? Sorry, I giggled. <laughs> Sayori. It's a lot harder than I thought. How do you guys do it so easily? Uh, try not to think of it like you're reciting to other people. Imagining you're reciting it to yourself, like in front of a mirror or in your own head. It's your poem, so it'll come out the best that way. I see, I see. Okay then. Sayori begins her poem. Somehow, it feels like her soft voice was made as a perfect match. Oh, she has a soft voice? Okay, dang. The poem isn't aimlessly cheery like Sari's is. It's serene and bittersweet. If I were to read this on paper, I probably wouldn't think of it much. But hearing comes from Sayori's voice almost gives it a whole new meaning. Maybe this is what Sayori meant when she said she likes my poems. I like to get to reach more deeply into someone I thought I knew through and through. Sayori finishes and we applaud. I did it! Good job, Sayori! Yeah, you go, girl! <laughs> even only PP likes it. I guess that's a good sign. What does that even mean? What the hell? 
It came out nicely, Sayori. The atmosphere of the poem fits you really nicely. But it might be the other poems wouldn't work quite well with this kind of delivery. Eh? I don't really understand. In other words, I've seen poems of yours where that sort of gentle lip delivery wouldn't work as well. They might need a little more force behind them depending on what you're reading. That's, well, I mean practicing that kind of thing. It's just embarrassing to do it in front of everyone. <laughs> and next time, I'm going to make you pick a poem that challenges you a little bit more. We don't have much time before the festival, you know. Yay! Now, who's next? Natsuki? Hmm. Don't make me go before only PP. It's not like I can compare to you guys anyway. Might as well let only PP lower everyone's standards a little before I had to do it. Natsuki. That's fine, it's fine. Sure, my turn. Might as well get over it. But it's not like I have much of a selection of what to read. I just have to go with what I wrote for today. I stand up and step in front of the podium. Everyone has their eyes on me, making me feel terribly awkward. Oh god! I recite my poem. Since I'm not exactly confident in my own writing, it's hard to put energy into it. Despite that, once I finish, I receive applause anyway. Yeah! I'm not really good as everyone else. Don't worry about it so much. I think it's less about your abilities, but more about your lack of confidence in your writing. That's something you'll improve over time though. Yeah, maybe. Alright then, let's just leave you, Natsuki. Yeah, yeah, I'm going. Natsuki begrudgingly gets out of her seat and makes her way to the podium. The poem is called... It's called... Why are all of you looking at me? Because you're presenting. Hmm. Anyway, the poem is called Jump. Natsuki takes a breath. Once she starts reciting her poem, her sour attitude disappears a little. While she's still a little unenthused, her poem has a rhythm and rhyme to it. Natsuki trademark style, and it works surprisingly well when spoken out loud. The words feel like they bounce up and down as if giving life to a poem. Natsuki finished and everyone applaud. She huffs back to her seat. That wasn't so bad, was it? Easy for you to say. You better not make me do that again. Ah, uh, well... Do you at least feel prepared enough to recite a poem in front of other people? I mean, doing it in front of other people will be way easier. I can put on whatever face I want for other people. But when it's just my friends, it's just embarrassing. That's surprising, Natsuki. I think it would be the other way around for me. Well, that's just how it is, so... Well, I guess in that case, you won't have much to worry about the festival. That's it. I want to thank everyone for coming through. It might be hard, but I hope that you all have an idea of what it's like now. Make sure you pick a poem and get enough practice before the festival, okay? I'll be making pamphlets, so let me know ahead of time what you'll be reciting. Yes! Ah, oh, good lord. I should probably find some other poem to recite instead. That's fine too. It doesn't have to be your own. I'm already pleasantly surprised that you're putting in all this effort for the club. It makes me really happy. Ah, uh, yeah, no problem. Okay everyone, I think that's about it for today. I know the festival is coming up, but let's try to write poems for tomorrow as well. It's been working out really nicely so far, so I'd like to, to continue that. As for the festival, we we'll finish planning tomorrow, and then we'll have the weekend to prepare. Monday is the big day. I can't wait! I can do this, I can do this. Aww. Alright! I stand up. There's no way I'll be able to find the same enthusiasm as Sayori and Monica. But I'll do my best to get through it. If it's a sake for the club and impressing Monica, oh, <laughs> you mean impressing Yuri? Then I have to do my best. Ready to go, Sayori? Yep. Yeah. Look at you two, always going home together like that. It's kind of adorable, isn't it? 
<laughs> Jeez, guys, stop. Don't make such a big deal of it. It must be a little nice, though. Well, uh... How am I supposed to respond to that? Oh, God. <laughs> Help me, Sayori! It's okay, only PP. You don't have to say it. Whatever. Let's just go. I walk home with Sayori once more. Even though it's only been a few days, a lot of things have already changed. But today, Sayori is a little quieter than usual on the way home. Hey, Sayori. Uh, uh, sorry, I was facing out. Uh, ah, no wonder. Um, I was thinking about something from earlier. I like how we get to, I, I mean... Okay. Uh, uh, I, yeah, I have no words. Sayori fumbles with her words. So, let's just say that one day, Yuri asked to walk home with you. Oh, 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 okay, huh? What would you do? What kind of question is that? You kind of put me on the spot here. <laughs> okay, which one would I choose? Shit, this must be the fuck this must be an important decision. I have to say first. There we go. Uh what have, what would happen if I choose Yuri instead of Sayori? Because I want to choose Yuri instead. Um uh, I'll choose Yuri. I'm loyal to Yuri. Damn it, but I don't want to choose Yuri over my best friend. Dang it, this is so hard. Ah. Uh hmm. <laughs> You know what? I'll go with my gut this time. I'll choose Yuri. Walking home with Yuri. Huh. What is the thought of that makes my heart pound? I mean, given how hard it is for her to socialize, I would feel awful turning her down, so... Isn't she so beautiful and smart? That has nothing to do with what I said. <laughs> ah, you admitted it! Jeez, good lord. Stop teasing me. There's not even any point in speculating something that's never going to happen. Well, maybe, but I just like to think about it. It's not long before you won't need me anymore, you know? Oh, need you? What do you mean? Sayori, come on. I, have, I can't figure out how you're seeing things in your head right now. Sorry. Everyone is different. No man in the club is a replacement for you. Ah, oh, yeah, hell yeah. Hmm. If you say so. The conversation trails off, and I'm left feeling awkward. Good lord. But that's kind of her fault for trapping me with such a weird question. I can't just lie to her. But if there's something that makes her feel happy, I would hate to take that away from her. That's why I said there's no point in, spe in speculating. And again, the festival is only a few days away. Who knows what will happen that, that time. Okay, uh, I think this is a good time to stop. I'm tired. <laughs> I'm tired of having to dealing with the literature club. Oh lord. But yeah, I hope you enjoy. I am going to be loyal and I'm going to uh, choose Yuri all the way. So I hope to get to see uh, Yuri part of the story. And I can't wait to see more uh, of how the story is going to go and with the festival and everything. Okay, so... um. Yeah, that's it. Bye-bye. Bye-bye-bye-bye.